Project number one is under finance. This is the greatest time to get into under finance. I am expecting the price of this project to go up rapidly very soon. And I'm expecting the price of Ondo to be above a dollar in the next couple of weeks. I'm giving you the next couple of weeks because, you know, things take time, right? Great things tend to take time. Now, you know, maybe in the next couple of days, you know, we trade above a dollar, but we want to give us, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of some room. We want to make sure that we're not, you know, we're not rushing into, you know, making a decision for the market, right? You want to let the market, let the market guide us, basically. So why do I think this is the right time to get into under finance? You know, let me talk about that. Well, this is a clean breakout. I don't think you are going to have a more cleaner breakout than this one right here, guys. All right. We broke out of this downtrend, right? The downtrend I started all the way back in June. So the last three months, basically. We are about to break above the last weekly lower high, which is basically 80 cents. This breakout is, is, is happening this week, you know, maybe today, actually, or maybe tomorrow. Once we break above 80 cents, that should be a confirmation. A very bullish confirmation. So I'm looking at Ondo right here. If you are ever bullish on this project, if you are ever going to be bullish on this project, you want to maximize profits, this is the time to get in. This right here, all right, when Ondo was around 55 cents, that was not the right time to get in, guys. The reason was because we were still in a downtrend. Now, finally, we have an uptrend, you know, an uptrend that is confirmed and very soon to confirm, you know, a more bullish confirmation when we break above, you know, 80 cents. So maybe you wait for the actual confirmation, uh, maybe not, but I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking. Uh, I don't want to get in at a, re at a resistance because maybe we'll get a pullback to retest, you know, 66 cents. Uh, trust me, I get it. But uh, what if you don't get this pullback? Right? This is an 18% pullback. What if you don't get this pullback, right? Here? And personally, I don't see this pullback. I see, you know, I see Ondo breaking out. And I see a move all the way up to a dollar five cents. That is what I basically see right now. Oh, what about if we do get rejected? Let's say we do get rejected and we get a pullback to you know 66 cents. I think if you do get rejected and you get a pullback, look, that is just an opportunity for you to bring your average a little bit lower. All right, maybe bring your average into the 70 cents range, a lower 70 cents, or you know, somewhere in the 60s. All right, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. But for me, I'm not banking on this pullback because I don't think we are going to get this pullback. I do think we are going to break 80 cents and push all the way up to a dollar. All right. If I'm looking at the daily, you know, the greatest time to get in was definitely, you know, maybe right here around 60 cents, you know, after this pullback uh, failed to take out these lows right here, or maybe right here, after this breakout above the last lower high. But I'm more interested in, in this weekly right here, all right? I am more interested in this because I want to be a part of this entire weekly uptrend. And not only do I think we're going back to the old time high, I think we're going to see new old time high. You know, I see a very similar move to this one right here. All right. This was a 600% move. I do think we are going to see a 600% move 
going from the absolute lows okay, if we push all the way up 600 percent uh maybe higher of course i do see the price of ondo you know going all the way up into the highest four dollar range within this next you know weekly run there's going to be pullbacks uh, but i don't think you get a weekly pullback until at least the price is above is above a dollar at least and if you do get your first weekly pullback i don't think you get something that's significant you know maybe you get a 20 percent pullback and that is it you know come back to retest uh you know maybe the 85 cents range so if the price was to go let me just clear this up all right if the price was to go up to So right here looking at a dollar dollar ten cents so or, or somewhere around here you know basically this this range if the price was to push all the way up to this range maybe you get a pullback to retest you know somewhere around 85 cents uh, this is where your 21 weekly moving average is probably going to be all right so something like this is a possibility all the way up it is pull back and then we push all the way up to you know two dollars basically take out the old time high no pull back until you know somewhere around two dollars so this is the best time to get in right here so this is project number one uh, i'm sharing with you guys three projects that you must buy right now all right don't wait on the sideline don't wait for pullbacks maybe you do get a pullback but this is not a time to you know to stay on the sideline and you know and waiting for a potential pullback i think this is the time to get in because you know on the looks i mean this is incredible guys like these are the type of setups that you know we've been hunting for for these last six months you know for six months guys every time we would get these rallies right here you know i was telling you guys Stay out of this market this is more likely a fake out all right we got this one right here told you there's nothing to be excited about here but now you know you gotta be excited but you got to be excited right now because this looks really good this can be a fake out you know there's always fake outs uh, but this is only going to be a fake out if we take out 58 cents trust me look we we'll come back and take out 58 cents. I'm the first one to exit my position. That's because this becomes, you know, nothing but a fake out. And the moment we go below 58 cents, we're looking at a continuation of this right here. All right. But this is not what we have. This is more likely the beginning of something like this, guys. When you have, a, you know, when you have a market moving like this, you buy the dips when the market is pulling back. When you have a market moving like this, you don't buy the dip. And the reason you don't buy the dip is because the dip is going to keep on dipping. And we talked about this. So, Ondo project number one. Uh, let's talk about project number two. What is project number two that you should buy right now? This is the one right here, guys. I'm talking about Rune or Thorough Chain. Rune is a must buy right now. Once again, do not wait for a pullback. This is a must buy right now. Now, you know, those are my private disco. They got in early. They got in around, you know, $4.15, I believe. Uh, let me just check it out. When did I give a buy signal? Uh, this is what, yeah, I gave a buy signal on 9.15. So 915 rune was trading let me show you guys right here rune was trading at four dollars and 14 cents so look you want to get into a lot of these projects early join my private disco guys right here i became extremely bullish on rune told the members you want to get in right now you want to add on to your position if you do get a pullback because sometimes you know, the market gives you a pullback. So add on to your position. But this is a project that is looking really good. So anyways, I'm giving you guys an entry 
of five dollars and six cents. This is the beginning of an amazing run. Right? Buying Rune right now, it is the equivalent of buying the same project, Rune, of course, when it was trading around a dollar eighty cents sometimes in August of 2023. Right here, guys. This is the equivalent of that. Right? Getting in right here is the equivalent of this. So once again, uh, you may be looking at Rune, you know, you go to the daily, you look at this move right here, and you may be thinking, mm, I think I'm a little bit late. I'm going to wait for a pullback. Trust me. All right. This is not, it's not what you want to do right now. That could be one of the biggest mistakes that you can make right now. Maybe you do get a pullback. Remember, maybe you do get a pullback. But I'm always, always going to give you a heads up. That one of the worst things that you can do when the market has established a trend and when the trend is extremely strong and it is early on in the trend, one of the worst things that you can do is convince yourself that the market is going to give you a pullback surely and wait on the sideline. 